ChatGPT4 is out. Kind of, because if you're a peasant like me and you don't have the Plus subscription, you can only join the waiting list. But I fear the people who even have the Plus subscription don't get in because the start is a little bit buggy. <laughs> you paid for nothing. Let's check out the website on what the new features are. So of course the website is telling us that GPT-4 is more advanced and also smarter, but here is a really cool feature it has. It can take in, but also create 25,000 words instead of the 3,000 word limit it had before. On top of that, it has become smarter for problem solving. So for example, here we have the task of explaining the plot of Cinderella with the words starting with the alphabet from A to Z. And down here you have the result A beautiful Cinderella dwelling eagerly finally gains happiness. So you see word by word is following the alphabet and it does it pretty nicely until the end. Another thing that is coming is visual input. So you can upload images and they also show examples where you can take photos with your smartphone and ask the AI to give you advice. So in this case, we have a photo here of some cooking ingredients. The question is, what can I do with these ingredients? And of course, it spits out different ideas of what can be done, what nice food can be created from that. Next, we have here an example of longer text. And now, as you can see, ChatGPT also has internet access because the example here is linking to a Wikipedia entry about Rihanna and asking about the Super Bowl performance. So the ChatGPT4 version can analyze up to 25,000 words from that website and then put all of them together in a shorter form, answering the question you have about the content of that site. Next, we have the reasoning capabilities. And here you can see a comparison between the old version of ChatGPT, where we have here a text that gives us different times when people are available and the AI should figure out when a meeting would be able when all of these times overlap. And apparently the old version of ChatGPT can list the times correctly, but then still create the wrong answer for the meeting, while the new version is listing it in even a nicer way and then also giving the correct answer when all of these times are overlapping. Of course, they're also talking about how ChatGPT now is a lot smarter and showing test results from the uniform bar exam and a biology Olympiad. But a lot more interesting than that is, of course, the real world use of ChatGPT4 and Interestingly enough, it shows here multiple examples on how this has already been built into real world products. In the first example, you can use GPT-4 for conversations with Duolingo. This helps you to train your language skills learning another language. In the Be My Eyes app, you can actually see a photo being taken of a food item and then GPT-4 transforms this into telling you about the ingredients, maybe even giving you some health advice. On Stripe, ChatGPT-4 is used for streamlining the user experience. I'm not sure if this means you as a user of Streamline or your customers that use Streamline to pay for your products, but it also says that GPT-4 is used to combat fraud on Stripe, and that is actually really interesting. Morgan Stanley Wealth Management is using GPT-4 to organize its vast knowledge base. Now that's interesting and also raises the question in what capacity AI is going to be used to create wealth and automate the market. Hmm, interesting. On Khan Academy, which is a really cool site for online learning on all kinds of subjects for free, the GPT-4 is used as a smart tutor to interact with the students, explain problems to you and learn with you. And the government of Iceland is using GPT-4 to preserve its language. I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds incredibly cool. If you get the funds, you can try GPT-4 right now with the Plus subscription. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.
Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah, I wish you a good weekend.